Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is Gully here. Welcome back to another epic Polytopia video. You guys really enjoyed my last video covering the common beginner mistakes that new Polytopia players make, so I've returned with more. Fixing the following mistakes will certainly increase your chances of winning, and that way you can finally beat your friends in a game, or just raise your online ELO ranking. Let's get started. The first mistake, and one of the most crucial ones I often see new players make, is always picking a workshop over an explorer. It's very tempting to take the plus one star per turn because, well, it's one star per turn. It's very good value, but the value that a good explorer gives is even more priceless. Without having vision on your opponent, you'll have no idea how many units they have, what kind of units they have, where their cities are. I could keep going. The point is, having vision on your opponent is going to simplify your turns a lot. It will eliminate most of the guesswork that is abundant in Polytopia. Now, don't take this advice as me telling you to go take explorers in every single one of your cities. Having a strong economy to bolster your position is just as important. What you should do is consider taking an explorer in your second or third city, and also take explorers in cities that are near your opponent until you have a comfortable amount of information. As a side note, explorers will allow your riders to expand faster because they won't be stuck by fog, allowing you to scoop up more villages quickly. The next mistake I often see new players make is researching the wrong technology. What do I mean by wrong technology? Well, I mean technology that isn't really going to improve your position a whole lot. What you have to realize is that technology is very expensive in Polytopia oftentimes costing an entire turn's worth of stars. Committing to a certain technology or even a specific tech branch can be a pivotal point in many games, and if you choose the wrong option, you're gonna have a bad time. If you want me to make an entire video dedicated to determining which technology you should buy, let me know in the comments down below. The simple version is as follows. Your goal in Polytopia is to capture your opponent's capital. Whatever technology lets you achieve this goal in the most efficient way possible is usually the correct option. Typically, this can be done by slamming your opponent with tons of powerful units that they can't deal with. Another mistake that shows up in my comments section quite frequently is upgrading cities to their maximum possible level. This kinda plays into the last mistake I mentioned. I see people talking about how they like to buy spiritualism so they can grow forests in all their cities, and then buy free spirit and chivalry so they can burn all the forests and turn them into farms. Then they buy farming and construction to upgrade their cities to the highest possible level. Guys, don't do this. It might be a fun little thing to do in creative after you finish killing off all the bots, but if you try and do this in an online match, you're going to get absolutely stomped. By dumping all your stars into useless technology to maximize your cities, you aren't going to have enough units to even defend your cities. You'll just get destroyed. You can't even make the case that the giants you get from upgrading your cities will protect you, because your opponent can just buy mathematics and kill them. Giants without proper support are actually very weak. In most games, you really won't need to upgrade a city past level 6. Usually a level 3 to 5 will suffice just fine. Use the rest of your stars to pump out units to actually achieve goals on the map, like taking an opponent's city. And speaking of pumping out units, the next mistake is not properly balancing unit production and economy. I see players all the time completely throw a winning position by going all in on economy and not actually training units to defend their cities. Here's an example. This was a Hudrick vs. Omaji game where I had 4 cities and my opponent had 9. I should have completely lost this game, but my opponent spent 2 turns upgrading cities when they could have just spammed riders and killed me. It gave me time to mount a devastating counterattack. I'll be making a full video analyzing this game, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. On the opposite side of that same coin though, some players dump all their stars into training useless units early in the game that end up dying and not accomplishing anything. Later in the game, because they don't have a good economy, they can't afford units to properly defend their cities. Imagine your economy and unit production is on a balanced scale. You want to make sure that the scale doesn't completely fall in any one direction. In Polytopia, your economy and unit production goes hand in hand. Your economy lets you train units, and these units protect your cities and capture cities from your opponent, which boosts your economy. Typically, in the first couple of turns, I like to lean heavy into economy, and then I move to balancing economy with rider spam. Finally, we'll talk about combat. Oftentimes, I see new players mindlessly throwing their units at their opponent, attacking them with no clear goal in mind. Let's take a look at a quick simple example. You move a warrior and meet your opponent's warrior. There appears to be no other units around. Should you attack it? Well, the answer is no. When you hit the warrior, both your warrior and your opponent's warrior will each take 5 damage. But on your opponent's turn, your opponent will hit your warrior with their warrior and kill it. As a general rule of thumb, you never really want to hit an enemy unit without being able to kill it as well, because then you're giving your opponent the opportunity to retreat it and heal it. Now of course, there are exceptions to this rule. A good way to think about attacking is in terms of star trades. 
If you're using two roads to road in two riders to kill one of your opponent's warriors, and one of your riders will die on your opponent's turn as a result, you're essentially using seven stars to kill a two star unit. Not a great trade, now is it? And there you have it guys. That was a couple more common beginner mistakes that I often see new Polytopia players make. Are there any that I missed? Let me know in the comments section down below. Be sure to subscribe for more helpful Polytopia videos, and if you're looking for another video to watch, check out this video where I help you determine which city upgrade you should get. It will help streamline your games and it is sure to make you a better player. I also have an entire playlist dedicated to Polytopia tips, tricks, and tutorials that you might want to check out. It is loaded with useful information. Now see you all in the next video. Have a spectacular day.